Hey, how's your day? In June of 2023, generative fill was in beta in Photoshop, and I wanted to use it to remove glare from glasses or just remove glasses at all. Now it's eight months later, generative fill is no longer in beta. Let's find out if it still holds up, if it's gotten better or worse. Let's go. Well, as you can see, we've got a great picture of Grandma here, but she's got the dreaded glare in her glasses. So let's zoom in a bit here. Now what I like to do is hit Q for the quick mask. Make sure the brush is a little bit bigger. I'm going to brush over the part that's glare here. A little bit on the rim. Same on the other side here. Clean the up a bit. Now hit Q and you got your selection made. Let's go to Generative Fill. Remove. Generate. And bam, everything gone. Let's check out our three options. One, two, three. I like number one the best. Let's zoom out. Before, after. Unreal, so good. All right, for our second example here, I've got the same picture I used last June because they're kind of extreme examples of what's going on. So let's zoom in. Now on girl one, hit the Q key. And let's just paint over what is going on. Make sure you get it all. Q, you can see your selection. Generative fill. Remove. Generate. And bam, again, unreal results from generative fill. There's number one. There's number two. There's number three. I'm liking number one here. So let's zoom out. Before. After. Great results. Now let's zoom into girl number two here. This is a little more extreme. As the glare is this blue that's going on. So once again, Q. Just your brush. And let's just paint over what we want removed. No more, no less. But the thing is, half of her eye has been cut off by the glare. Let's see what happens here. Q, we've got our selection. Generative fill. Remove. Generate. Let's see our options. Option number one. Option number two. Option number three. I'm digging option number one. That's great. All right, let's back it off. Before. After. Generative fill, in my opinion, has gotten better and better. This is amazing stuff for removing glare from glasses. Now, what if we wanted the glasses removed entirely? So I'll make a stamp visible here, and let's turn off all these other layers. Let's try girl number one here. Cue for the quick mask. Adjust our brush to be just a little bit more than the rim of the glasses. And let's paint in there. Nose piece around the glasses in her hair there. Now we don't want to change anything of her skin. So what we can do, hit your X key to paint white. And just back off a little bit of what you don't think needs to be changed. We want to leave as much of her facial skin intact as possible. All right, let's hit Q. And we've got our selection. Generative fill. Remove. Generate. And then to put back other glasses. That's a bit weird. Number two. Number three. Number three is great. Let's zoom out. Before, after, I'm keeping that. 
but let's go back in for a second. And there's a little bit of stuff going on here. So let's use a new layer and our new friend, the Remove tool. Now I've got it set not to remove after each stroke so I can paint in exactly what I want and just use the inner key. So let's go here. And a little bit over here. Enter. Very cool. Zoom out. I'm digging it. So let's put all this into a, a group. Girl one, before, after. Glasses? What glasses? All right, let's try girl number two now. Let's zoom in. Now, again, her glasses are fitting a little bit lower on her face, so it might do something to either the eyes or eyelashes or whatever. But let's find out. Q. Let's just color in what we want. Down the nose here. Nose piece. Around. Up. And around to complete it. Let's hit Q again. We have our selection. Go to Generative Fill. And remove. Generate. And bam. Glasses are gone. A little bit of strangeness over here, but let's check out number two. And number three. Oh, I'm digging number three. Two, three. No, I'm changing my mind. I'm digging number two. Let's zoom out. Before, after. Great stuff from Generative Phil. Eight months later, yeah, it's gotten better. Now, let's go back to Grandma here. Zoom in a bit. Now, let's hit the Q key. Let's see if we can remove grandma's glasses. You can see there's a little shadow here, so we're going to have to make it a little bit wider. But that's okay. Let's go around. The side pieces. A little bit of a shadow there. Nose piece. We'll go around again. Nose piece. And sides. Now, let's hit Q. Make sure we got a good selection going on here. Looks good to me. So go to Generative Fill and Remove. Generate. This is just great stuff. Number one. Number two. Number three. I'm digging number two. Let's zoom out. Check out Grandma, before, after, before, after. Yep, I think it proves that Generative Fill has gotten better. Very cool. Well, as you can see, Generative Fill is getting better and better and more accurate. And with the help of the Remove tool, there's nothing you can't accomplish or remove. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. I'm Don from Photo 911. See ya.